For the latest Hellboy news updates, visit hybridnetworkyte.com. Hey, what is happening, everybody? Welcome back to the Hybrid Network and another discussion on the big red occult detective, Hellboy. Today is a speculative topic, and if you've read the title, maybe you're a little confused yourself. Why would Hellboy die in the first entry into a new rebooted franchise? I mean, what kind of way is that to start off a new movie series? Well, normally death would be the final frontier for someone in any other franchise, but with Hellboy, it gets kind of tricky because of all the occult and supernatural beings at work in the universe. But more importantly, I'm asking this question because the title of the movie implies that the Queen of Blood will be the antagonistic force in the film. And in relation to the comics, the Queen of Blood has one big achievement to her name. She kills Hellboy. In their climactic battle, before her soul is dragged to hell by all of the English witches that she tore down while in power, she manages to reach out and take Hellboy's flaming heart in her hands, throwing it deep into the abyss of hell while she plummets into the fire. Hellboy's body turns to ash, and that's it. He was gone. Believe it or not, Hellboy never came back to life, though that wasn't the end of his adventures. I think what I'm trying to get here is that Hellboy Hellboy dying is one of the big moments from the comic that I'm sure the storyline is based off of, and I'm sure it'll be taking elements from the book and working it into the film. Why do I think it can happen? Well, I think one big thing is that Hellboy dying doesn't have to be the end in the new franchise. After Hellboy dies, his soul returns to his true home, Hell, where he learns more about where he came from and more about the destiny that he had been trying hard to avoid. I think that if we were to get Hellboy dying in some capacity in this new film series, it would open the door for a lot of things to expand within the universe. But more than that, I think it would give us a chance to see something interesting with Hellboy finally exploring the realm that he hails from and understanding more of the role that he was made to play. A big part of Hellboy dying in the comics was to bring this idea of acceptance of things ending, and while that may be a bit much for the beginning of the character's introduction, I think the idea of simple acceptance is still something that can be explored here if we see this character pass from this life and into the next. That's not to say that he needs to stay dead. These movies don't have to be totally beholden to the comics, I just think that with Hellboy dying we could have the potential to open up a different side to him that general audiences haven't really seen before. I guess it also just comes down to me really wanting a Hellboy in Hell film, but that doesn't mean there can't be more there. If it sounds crazy to do, they're using a prominent villain for the character's first movie, so I think it's not totally out of the realm of possibility to consider. But that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you all for tuning in, and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all the new content coming out from the Hybrid Network. My name is Luke, and I'll catch you all next time.